The Bosnian city of Gorazda is probably not the first place you'd think of when it comes to innovation in the firearms industry. The town behind me during the Yugoslav civil war was cut off, surrounded on all four sides and without food, water or power for about four years. Much of the population either fled or died. When we heard through the grapevine that there was a new company doing innovative polymer magazines down here, we got a little interested. When we found out that they were making a quad stack 762 magazine for the AK platform, we jumped on a plane. What we found was a story not only of innovation in the firearms space, but also of renewal and a city back from the dead. Now, making polymer magazines is, of course, nothing new, since Magpul invented the concept over a decade ago. Since then, there have been a number of companies jump into the marketplace with varying degrees of success. The thing that separates a good magazine from a so-so magazine is, well, there's two things. The first is the quality of the tool that produces it, and the second is the quality of the secret source of the polymer that goes into that tool. This building is where the secret source polymer and machine tools come together in order to create Bosnian space magic. Let's go check it out. Injection molding is a very economical way of making stuff once the process is up and running. However, in order to get there, it's extremely expensive as you have to first make one of these. Now these two halves comprise one single injection mold. And as you can see, there's a lot of very intricately machined moving parts in this thing. Now, it should come as no surprise that a lot of companies get their molds made in China in order to reduce cost. And I was kind of impressed to see AC Unity doesn't do that. They maintain control of it entirely in-house, both the design and tool-making aspect of it. So, this is the tool. Over there's a special source. Let's go check that out. These guys might be new to the magazine business, but you can tell just by looking around, they've been making stuff for a long time. In fact, they got their start making critical components for high-end European car manufacturers. I can't tell you which one, but over there, there's some stuff with a three-pointed star on it if you know what I mean. Now, about that special polymer, I'm no material scientist by any stretch of the imagination, so take what I'm about to say with a huge grain of salt. But this stuff, it seems really, really nice. Now, I don't know shit about basketball either, but you can tell by looking at LeBron James, that dude has some moves. So, we have our polymer magazine. It's gonna need some guts. Let's go find some. In order to lift four columns of 762 by 39 ammunition into position, this quad stack magazine uses two springs and two followers. Now the first one is this big honking affair right here, and that shoves everything up to this position on the neck where this cute little guy takes over. Now that's what goes into one of these magazines. I'm gonna grab one that's already been assembled and an AK and a whole shit ton of ammunition and take it to the range, and let's go see if they run. Let's go. in my natural environment at the range in the beautiful Bosnian countryside. And one thing you do notice when you pick one of these up is when it's fully loaded, that's a handful of ammunition. Because it's got that huge honking magazine spring in there, there is a magazine loader that comes with it, which allows you to compress to get the last few rounds in. And you just clip it on, press the little lever down and feed the round in. Now, if you have had your Wheaties this morning, you can finish it off by hand, but if you haven't, then use the mag loader. There we go, I've got 60 rounds in there. I've got a selection of AKs from around the world. Everybody knows AK tolerances are all over the shop. We're gonna take these magazines, stick them in those guns, and see if it runs. Let's go hot. We've got a bunch of different AKs, starting with this Zastava M70, old war horse from the, from the Balkans. Here we go, let's see if it runs. All right, next up, a Russian AKM.
Let's shoot this. This is actually beat to hell and back. It's a, it's a Russian milled receiver rifle, and you can see it's being dragged through a ditch. See if this one goes. Okay, the Russian works. Okay, another Yugo mill receiver gun. And they see Unity version. Now, as you can see, five different AKs, five of the same 60 round quad stack magazine. You guys have seen how they get made, and they are going to be available in the United States very soon. I'm really pleased to be back in this area, and it's great to see a new company bringing life back into this region. It could use some. Thanks to the guys at AC Unity, and thanks for making a great product. See you guys later.